Okay, so we're here to make a business plan. It wants us to schedule onboarding with our team. Did you do this? Mm, no. Schedule onboarding. Schedule now. Services live. I also plan. did this with someone. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Like one of the advisors walked me through this, so I guess they were like the life plan. Okay. This is through HubSpot, I can tell. How? I've seen it before. Mm. Okay, so that's what it is. They have a uh, person here, Patrick, from San Jose. Mm -hmm. uh, if I click out again on schedule now, it's Patrick again. I wonder if I reload it, am I going to get... If it changes. Yeah, did I do a round yeah. robin or is it just the one person? It's just like the one person. Okay, so a bit. Uh... They say follow your own path, whatever, to find a business opportunity. Want to just go through their path? Hmm? We're going to go through their path just one step at a time. Oh, oh okay. Oh, so, I see what we're doing. I see. Okay. Yep, yeah. this looks familiar. Describe the, the key. right is new. Anything you want included? Let's pretend we're doing the business of... Uh, S-Y-R-A-I, uh, Software for Wealth Managers. Mm -hmm. Wealth Managers in upstate New York do not have enough good technology providers. We want our business to focus on the benefits of having a geographically close neighbor, Syracuse, um, as a service provider, we want our business to focus on the benefits of software developed locally we want to emphasize our usage of AI generate drafts, generating content may contain inaccuracies, do not treat it as financial advice. So here we have something, we'll just say mm -hmm. we can do in we got five buttons here. We got insert it into the plan, regenerate, edit instructions, thumb up, thumb down. Let's click regenerate. But then etc. Michael miss software there. Some specific problems we include are this. Again, miss software is bolded. I wonder if that's because they styled it, yeah. And then edit instructions goes back to here. We can add more instructions. Mm. I wonder, do you have anything you want to add? Facts or um, No. Something for the purposes of this. Um. Okay, we we think that both matters. Something talk to technology. Um. Something specific to change instruction. Um, specifically, um, or like targeting uh, wealth managers who make over a hundred million, or I don't know if that's something that they can speak to, like qualifications or something. So they do this typing effect. Do you like that typing effect? 
Um, yeah, it's fine. It feels a little glitchy, but maybe I'm just being picky. Okay. So we've done all of these except for insert, which I want to save to last. We can hit the thumb up or the thumb down. The thumb up just says thank you for feedback. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom one says help her improve what was wrong with the response we got. Uh, it was not fast enough. Okay. Insert into plan anyway. I like that. Okay. And a little tracker progress. Yep, and it's telling us that there's this tracker progress. Track your plan progress. Check off each section when it's ready. Got it. Uh, well, so here we go. Wealth management, blah, blah, blah. Miss software. How do we edit this now? It says live plan assistant is that way. Um, is it the bottom? Was that the bottom? Oh. Mm. oh, it's all editable. Never mind. It's just oh. it's that way. But this is also you can make it bold. They have a it's a rich text editor. They can insert a link, mm -hmm. upload an image, block quote, etc. Okay, so let's see how. I was far just thinking goes. that. Do not. It feels very um, detail oriented. Like feels like every little thing has been thought about. Yep. So let's see. Needs review. Close that. And now it says name resume resume. Our solution is next. Okay, let's just do this again. Let me write, I wanna go back and let's say plan, what is this, guide? Guide, guide. Yeah. okay. So problem we're solving, mm -hmm. so this is part of this plan. And we go to guide, we go back to our solution, say, that's our plan. Mm -hmm. Explain how your company will Almost the same. Let's see, just doing that. Where are we? We're in our solution. Rewrite this. Oh, so if we have nothing there, it says help me write. And then oh, that's where you have to put it. Yeah, and then we generate a draft from nothing. Mm -hmm. And then wealth management, blah, blah, blah. And now it gives us some offerings. Mm -hmm. And we'll use this, insert into plan. And then rewrite is going to do auto improve is one of them. And then oh, you change the tones. Shorten, spend. Uh, but it doesn't give you that ability to edit the instructions again. It's basically a simpler version. It's just saying rewrite for you. Oh, I see. Okay, well, again, we can hit close here. Uh, start on market sizes and analysis. Oh, the target market. Our target market is wealth managers in upstate New York. Let's hit generate draft. Use it as inspiration, but do not treat it as financial advice. Okay, fine. We have the name of the software organization. So we have it printing. You see this here? Mm -hmm. Is that like... It'll go in. Yeah. Let's see. If I hit insert into plan, it's clearly yeah. wrong. Right? You got that? And oh, it's, I see. It's Miss huh. Sot Sotware LLC, which yeah. I wonder if I have a, a typo somewhere. I mean, even interesting. I guess there's no way to make it intuitive from page to page. It starts over from like nothing. Yeah. But now if I hit the auto improve, it goes from whatever this is to mm -hmm. this, which is, it looks better. We replace the planned content. Interesting. I'll go with that. And it was not started before. 
but now it's quote unquote in progress automatically. And this one I said, what do we call it? Uh, need to review. Needs review. So they also have I... little arrows you can click on when you go back. Back here, yeah. this one, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. And this is part of the plan. We can actually edit the titles. Edit. Yeah. Okay, so let's see here. Just um, help me write live plan assistant. Let's just say keep going. I wonder if it's gonna know from before. Right. Oh. like Adobe, GIMP, and Blender. No. Kind of. Uh, Wait, no. We have Myth Editor, Image Editor project. So it knows something myth about it's kind of. It knows about Myth software, but it doesn't. So let's see, edit instructions and uh, describe the competitive landscape for this. If you have competitors, that is. Uh, our competitors, let's just say our competitors are uh, IT firms without any engineers. They are Silicon Valley CRM companies like Salesforce. Okay, generate draft. And right, we got insert this into the plan again. Uh, if we just hit rewrite and hit auto improve, uh, and now it says we've done something that we haven't after conducting an analysis. We didn't do that. Mm -hmm. The same we did. It was just wrong. Uh, so let's say it says we conducted an analysis, yet we didn't lie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, use it as inspiration, but not treat it as financial or professional advice. They have that disclaimer every time you do it, right? Yep. And fine. Yeah, Let's see, key advantages. Okay. Uh, as soon as I do anything, by the way, it goes from... Not started. Like, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, and then if you mouse over it, it's got a little tip. So let's see. At factor instructions, you want to include a new draft, optional. Just generate draft with nothing at all. Our software is built oh. in edited oh. through... Hello. Yeah, okay. Five years. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let's do edit instructions. And our advantages are we are local. We provide highest quality service, highest quality product. Our price is premium for the market, yet globally competitive. And we yeah, so we have a proven track record, or maybe not. Proven track record. Cool. Like that. <laughs> And here we have bolding. Mm. Let's see, does that go in? Wait, so if you go to, re if you scroll up a little and you go to rewrite, does it give you the option to, it doesn't give you the option to, oh, we already went over this, right? To what? You can't, you can't change your prompt again. Yes, and I saw that before. I'm glad you said that out loud because I didn't. It's like a desire to remember. Well, what yeah. was that prompt, right? So here we are, anyway, uh, at the end of one section, and we've got mm -hmm. one section, two section, three section, four, five, six, seven. More to go. Let's see. Determine whether you can make money. Prepare a sensible target forecast, create a forecast, got it through all the steps. Ah, so here we're in a very different, mm -hmm. what are your major sources of revenue? 
Okay, what do we want to call this? Revenue stream, we'll call it services in billable hours. And uh, let's go to next. How many will you do? 200 starting in January. Uh, how much will you charge? 200 an hour, create an exit. Okay, now we have revenue in progress, direct costs. Do you expect to have any direct costs? These are anything that includes uh, sales commission. Let's just see, C suggested the following are direct costs. Just click any of them to add them to your da, da, da. So here's some AI doing mm -hmm. something of suggestions. Mm -hmm. And then those are tied to let's see to general costs, but it doesn't put in a month. Okay, you see that? So it gives us the mm -hmm. name of something, but we'll just say two thousand. Uh, say. But it's also maybe if you. What would you say? Um, you see how much it'll cost. What if you change the per month? Will that do anything differently if you were to like? Oh, I see. Interesting. So documentation. We can get some charts. Personnel. Do you have uh? Do you Oops. plan to have payroll or contract? Sure. Fine. So. Add personnel, change burden rate. Let's just say add personnel. We'll say Koi Manua, an individual as a contract worker. And that's direct labor. The more marketing we do, the more Koi we need. Okay. 3,000 a month. And then do you want to include annual raises of 100% coin? 100%. That's what we do. Create an exit. So if we went through all of this, we'd be mm -hmm. with a full financial something or other. Let's go back yeah. to guide and see. Okay. It's really these five we got to focus on. We lose track mm -hmm. of that in the sense of as you're going through that, you notice you don't really mm -hmm. know. Well, let's see. It kind of gives you the idea, but kind of got, yeah, expenses and assets. If we could start, they are the first five, but then it goes further and further. It's got this return to guide thing that pops up. Let's add expense. What do you add money on? Just a generic thing. We'll say uh, software. Exactly. Yeah. How much will it cost? Let's say we'll spend a hundred dollars and thousand dollars per month. It's fine. It's a different type of expense, but they specifically have rent or lease and this type of thing. Mm -hmm. Assets. Do you plan to buy assets? Let's say yes or no. Uh, thought on this one. Let's go no, and then we're done. I think you've okay. done it. Yeah. But the guide doesn't tell us that until we go back. Mm -hmm. All right. Figure out how you'll acquire customers, marketing plan, hit next. And marketing plan, let me write. This one is just a blank page. So let's just say, write on it's marketing whatever. plan. Um, Now it's here. It wasn't there, but now oh, was it, it is. Not, it wasn't there before. Was it maybe like a loading glitch or something? Yes, I think it was. Put us on the URL bar here, by the way. Hmm? Company, you see this here in the URL? Yeah, yeah. This is our company ID. Oh. Possibly a plan within it, maybe, I don't know. And then what we're editing. We're going to keep an eye on this one. Remember, ELQF, mm -hmm. certain. ELQF. Okay. Heard that. Yeah. And then, all uh, right, close, sales plan. If we hit sales plan, I'm wondering what this is about. Last change, two hours ago. What is this? I haven't seen this before. 
Oh, it's always been here. Sometimes it's yellow. The little dot turns What like is this spruce? uh, red as well. Okay, this is from a web spell checker tool. So, yeah, okay. Auto complete suggestions. American English, go to dictionary, add a dictionary name. This is whole thought on, it's like an editor. But here we are again in sales plan and let's go back. And now it shows up, but there's an error. Mm -hmm. Interesting, this is the second time. A lot of reasons that could be that way. Oh, well, let's see. If we just have this and we hit rewrite and we hit uh, shorten, <laughs> we don't want that. Hit cancel. We hit uh, auto improve. Yes. Now I'm thinking they have something behind the scene saying a pre prompt before us. Hmm. Oh, before it loads. Yeah, uh, thought is they can write a system prompt. So you have ChatGPT and you Mm want to say well, you're a business planner, ChatGPT. You can do that without showing the user that. So then they type in for a marketing company because the app developer, LivePlan, said you're a business planner. All mm -hmm. the user has said is a marketing company. Well, then it'll give you a marketing company business plan. That's called a system prompt. It's like behind the scenes. The user doesn't see it, but in these derivative applications, uh, it's there. So yeah, and again, it's it's continuously referencing that it is a bot. So let's do place plan content, uh, just delete all of it, help me write, and let's just say for a software, company yeah there we go does this seem without the ai generated part like the mm -hmm. tool you used yes okay yeah no everything looks the same just now it's got that tool okay work out the execution details Location facilities. Um. I wonder exactly after Ashley's like been within live plan, like what is it that she imagines hers to be and what makes it so different than what is already out there like i i don't know it feels like maybe live plan might be the closest thing to what she's described but yeah uh... i want to address that question so let's just click on one of each of these okay i want to see is there anything else that's like our financial planner where there's a whole sub module of uh difference this is all just mm -hmm. writing and structure by the way we can see these both yeah okay so we're having just a glitch where it's uh not displaying this uh helper text thing for the first time around so management team yeah and then advisors yeah uh, ownership structure yeah uh forecast funding needs Okay, so now we're back into here and we finish up the rest of the guide. And I'm going to click now on as many of these as I can. This is Palo Alto's help software. Fine. No, learn about the staff. Do you plan to use any financing? No. Fine. We go back to the guide and use the funds, sources of funds are uh, plain English again. Had a compelling executive summary. It's a whole section for what's in the executive summary. Start summary. Help me write is just my plan assistant. Summarize my plan. Bop, bop, bop. 
Yeah, great. I wonder how long uh, until we're done with this as compared to Oh, okay. This here, this quote unquote plan, mm. this is the, it's a little bit to me, the, what I was hoping for with the guide, where as oh, we're writing. Oh, with this guided. Sorry to see. Okay. Uh, review and export your plan. Work on these parts of your plan, review plan. You forecast, uh, download and print, download as a PDF, checking plan status, assembling documents, creating an appendix, rendering. Uh, we have saved it as a PDF, open it, great. Executive summary oh, wow. as a PDF, mm -hmm. opportunity, problem and solution, confidential. Oh, you this layout before you download it, or is this just... You press download and this is automatically what you get. Uh, set up. Which chapters do you want to include? Appendix, cover page. So oh, you get the images. Yeah. Um, mm. So there is some sense of, is that what you were looking for? Yeah, and no, I was just curious if anything, if there's like anything you can really make a bit more your own or... I know what you mean, yeah. You know, I guess uh, it's not necessary. I guess the content is what makes it your own, but like something a little more visually, but you know, that's something we could do. Document teams, current. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, well, yeah, kind of guess. Very uh, retro. And then we create a new export. Open as a PDF, and there is a different view. So one thing you pull my attention to is, no matter what, though, they are not your brand colors in a sense. If you already had mm -hmm. them, it's not yours. Mm -hmm. You do have the option of uploading like a cover page, but you know what? You can't change any fonts. You don't have any options of like a header font a body font there's no like even super basic customization of mm -hmm. you know where's our cover page i want that edit Include cover page in the document, so it's not there by automatic. Document has, let's say, included page this. Save and close, edit cover page. Include that, save and close. Go to as a PDF. Now we have their cover page. So, Koi, one part of that that's got me thinking. Mm -hmm. When you're doing programming and you're doing uh, PDF, the layout stuff is a challenge, very big yeah. challenge. The color stuff, though, not so much. So to have a customized layout, a problem have customized color scheme not such a problem you know yeah this could easily I could be with a customized color that one more time i said i could do with oh, customized colors over the choice of having like a customized layout as long as there's a bit of like design because even looking at these this just feels very like old that's okay yep. no i know what you mean though it's important it's the job I Okay, so your question on this versus what does Ashley want to do? Yes. Um, let yes. me 
from a notion and you know there's gonna be a transcript so we don't really need it uh liveplan.com i'll call it the gold standard in the sense of existing business plans i couldn't imagine a better business planning tool that existed from pre-ai days you know in the sense that mm -hmm. it's structured that it's got this command k which is freaking cool i like this uh that means you got good developers that really care about it in my perspective i wonder on their ai stuff uh what that's about uh, if i go to plan problem we're solving uh pick an empty plan part Check the balance sheet, uh, view and edit, outline. We don't need the mobile view. I take back what I said before though. I was looking yeah. at it and I couldn't um I couldn't get it to do what I wanted in with like the side drop down. Uh I was doing this and it wasn't re-rendering oh, it. Oh, I see. Before it was I just thought it was a desktop only thing because I couldn't get it to re-render. It was like weird. Okay, this is what I want to focus on, this little box of what is this from. So let's do, hello, how are you? Oh, that's the wrong spot, okay. Are you like trying to find out what type of AI it is? Yeah, let's see, hello, how are you? What do they do? Go to our headers, app live plan, theme, mode event new. Our payload is added input, event key, or UUID, AI. Help me write added optional input. Let's see. Outline with coral. Oh, the payload here is just uh, random ID, plan elements, plan element UUID. So here we're seeing the way they structure their data. And then our updated timestamp and then our plan elements all again. Let's find one that plan element parent. It's like a tree structure in that way, possibly just two levels, but Removable, yes or no, suppressed title. So these are all the options on it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so this is the opportunity chapter, business, blah, 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 title, our solution. Let me write option one. Which one is this? Equipment and tools. This is uh ending in 301d let's see do we see anything ending in 301d anything ending is it d at all no 301d are you down there you passed it oh yeah yeah sword order This clean slate, currently it is, let's say insert into plan. Then help me write optional input financial. So let's look for that again. And the next one, this was item what, 20? Let's go to this one, outline is coral. Twenty. 
It's clean slate. It's not help me write optional input. It doesn't have that. Set uh, close. Don't have to focus too much more on that. Uh, let's just look at the app location. Uh, remote event. Locking something. Got this uh, event things. This is for Google Analytics. They have Sentry, which is part of uh, Developer Toolkit. You recall that one that removed all of their tracking stuff? No. It was that blog post that had uh, Google cookies are going away, you know? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So one thing's for sure true. Mm. This was built prior to LLMs, you know, prior to AI being the force in the world that is today, you know? Okay. You're telling me, well, you told me that this was the same as it was before. Oh, yeah, that was like a year ago. Mm -hmm. But now it's got the the right things for me part, right? Yeah. And we hire a pro and professional services, validate, uh, review my plan, hire a business plan writer. We go to business plan consulting, get a free quote for your plan. And mm -hmm. maybe this is what she was talking about when she was mentioning like having um, other financial advisors and like a resource for other types of service providers who can like help people as they come to her site um, for with mm -hmm. whatever industry they're in. Yeah, here they have, they hire their own team. They say a small team of highly trained and experienced business, but I'm focusing on our team. It's maybe that they have on staff, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but it's different than I think uh, what we talked about with maybe just a link to third party ones, you know, yeah. Uh, plan review buy now for five hundred. It's just like a specific. It's a human review. Okay. Validate with industry research, market research. Get started now. Uh, it's just like a custom quote. So their upsell on this one. I authorize to charge my current payment associated with the account. I plan account email. Yeah, this is a little bit dangerous. Somebody else, you could hmm. put in my email and then buy this because it does no idea that I'm logged in or not. <laughs> anyway. So there's some upsells there. I'm going to stop sharing the screen. We can go back on camera and just talk to each other a minute. When I thought about it, I tried using that metaphor of if you were doing a sculpture, you just yeah. give it everything to start and then whittle down and make more accurate along the way with your details versus like a pottery having to build it up this one's like yeah. a pottery you have to build it up step by step and i feel like there's just not a lot to go off of or at least for me but i guess it doesn't matter right now with where we're at but um, tell me what you mean the metaphor like, there? there's no the like working towards uh ashley's stuff Oh, how to work with that to me is very useful because what we just went through, I can copy that as an app in a lot of structures, looking at that data structure, all that yeah. stuff is, it's actionable on what to go off of in a technical way. It's now a lot more plausible to me to build that product because I've gone through looking at it. 
then how do you make it better? If you started with that, to me, it would be there would be something in every text box immediately in the way that we have to do for every single one of those. And there would be a lot of like snowball effect stuff. Once you put in the one, know and keep that when you do the generate on the next. Then treating it like a whole, every little piece of that was very, they were incoherent. And the, one of them not only didn't know about the previous, but it doesn't know about the ones that you did after when you regenerate something in the middle, if you've done the whole thing, you know? So I think that's something where you tell me. I don't know, that sounds like um, in the areas in which they like fall short, uh, those are the spaces that you can make better. Because it would have been nice if it was more intuitive from each page what was going on. Because in my brain, that would mean that I need to re-input everything every single time. And that becomes a bit tedious and annoying. Yeah. That's what I interpreted. I think as a model too for Mm pricing, -hmm. it's old. It's forty dollars a month. Yeah, it's a lot. It's or maybe three hundred a year. Fine. But the real variable cost in building this is running that AI. Once it's built, it's about running the AI. And if you want it to really be impressive in the results by having them all be together you would be running the ai on much more expensive queries those short little prompts that we had and then the short little replies Yeah. a lot cheaper than taking in for every time you want to make an edit the whole business plan as context you know Mm, I see. so if you priced it where how often and how hard is somebody using it then Mm hmm Maybe it's less money or more, but it's more true to usage, I think, versus it's just no matter what, $400, you know. I think it's probably more easy to be predictable with the cost there, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Interesting. I don't like how it's not attached to anything at the end. It's just a PDF at the output. Yeah. I asked a friend of mine who gets bank loans, the guy that owns Common Space, he filled Mm out hmm a form on the bank's website. Hmm, really? Whatever. Yeah. That was what I asked him about. Hey, can you send me a business plan? He said, oh, I don't really have one. I just have the banks want me to fill out whatever for a loan. Therefore, maybe he's, I could talk Interesting. to him about Yeah. I get a phone. it, being flippant, but I wonder. In order to get money, how much like of a marketing document do you really need? Do you just need your, I don't know what. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just his business plan and Like they do credit check and all that stuff. Let's see something about our business plan. So, okay, so where do we go from here? I want to know, I was going to, like, how many words is this? I wanted to count real fast, but let's see, maybe I can word counter. Oh, wow. Wait. Interesting. 4,000 words, and let's go to Cloud AI. Continue with Google. I want to know. This. of what like how true what i said was on the variable cost expense of like a full business plan and if the state of the art models can take it all in easy or not or whatever so let's do a search out pasted content uh how many words
groups are you seeing in this document? Well, let's see. Tell me about this plan. Yeah, fine. It's able to take it all in. Hmm. And see, this is the texting that I like. The loading. Maybe this loading is better to you. A, uh, it feels better. Maybe because it feels like it's doing each individual, but before I was getting like seven words at a time and it was like, oh, with the little black texting block as it was flashing. I did not like that. I didn't like that at all. Let me look back at that. And I wouldn't do see. it. <laughs> I don't like that. That's good. Let's talk about that just because of uh, your view of the plan. I think yeah. Problem resolving, edit, rewrite it, and to auto improve. Yeah, yep. you see yep, that. Yep, 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 yep. So that was uh something. Yeah. Yeah. Back to know. where do we go from here? Like, what would the mm -hmm. initial product look like? I actually had a thought on, well, could we make like a Chrome extension or something? You know. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's a different form factor than a web app, but it's where mm -hmm. you have one password, you click it, and then it does things on the existing sites. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I think this tool did a good job on the financial part. There's repeatable parts of a business plan that they're numerical and they're different than the textual stuff you know mm -hmm. so it broke that out differently and then it just came in with tables if we do something different to me it's I would love to know what the final output looks like, like all the time, like yeah. pretty much just seeing that PDF at the end. I don't know. Yeah. You have to have some type of like customization available. Even if it's like basic, that's fine. Or an export to web, have your own web business plans, you know, to show your banks and whoever. Oh, here's our site. Mm -hmm. Boom. Our business plan website might be table of contents in a document, whatever, I don't know, but if it were ugly, yet it worked, what would the what would have what would it have to work in order if to if it were pay? ugly? I yeah. It doesn't, but because there's limited constraints time versus tool? working on it as a functional um, tool or working on it as a design yeah. tool, if we started with the functional, you just type in maybe key prompts. You're never expected to do long form writing in the sense of you never have a yeah text area. It's just always like a one liner. Uh, it's like when I go to a chat bot here, mm -hmm. let's see, message Claude. I'm just trying to see for a space. It gets bigger if you want to type more, but presumes, you know, it's, it's short to begin with. Mm. And oh, then wow. it, yeah. So there's something to me about this Claude interface. Mm hmm. It presumes a little bit of texting. I think we need to have that navigation on live plan that they've got. There has to be something on the side here. Uh, there's like a lot of depth to it. I don't know the pitch. Yeah. Craft a pitch. But I don't know if she wants to do like this bit too. Oh, well, here's something. Publish. Publish my pitch. It's now... Oh, it's like a little... This is exactly what I was talking about. Like, here's my website. Yeah. This yeah. is 
very, very complete in that way where, wow, oh, wow, I want to do mm -hmm. my next business plan on Lifeline. Well, I wish it would work. What the... Well, maybe it's because you're missing stuff. Like you need to put more information into it for it to bring it together. Maybe. It's annoying. I don't, I don't think we have everything filled out. The pitch yeah. is entirely different than everything else. Oh, really? Oh, okay. there's no way to um link it, link it to your plan. So it seems very idea. much, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hide marketing solution. Okay, but now it's based on this, okay. So that was a little bit hidden, but I get yeah. what they're doing here. It's costs them money every time they run that. And it's the most expensive thing on the upkeep. I'm guaranteeing you on mm -hmm. the way that the world is today. The more you run that, it adds up. So mm -hmm. let them do it, whatever. But you and I, I think would agree. It should just have it all there in a sense, yeah. like already ready. You might as well. Interesting. Uh, I wonder if this is something you probably would have found out in the, uh, what is it? You know, when you visit a website and they take you through the site walkthrough? Probably something. Oh, should... yeah. Well, I noticed you know they have a two minute walkthrough. I don't think in two minutes. Maybe. I think I they. Hate oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm never going to do a walkthrough. I want to, I like figuring know? it out every single time. Like anytime a website or an app is like, oh, do this, I press skip. Mm, I'm skip. only doing it for your benefit here. I ordinarily just hit the X's and I say, why is this even here? I just want to. Literally. Literally. Yeah. So um, that's actually okay. worth pointing to. They have a lot of hand holding because it's a fairly complex product. It is. It is. And we could imagine a simpler product. Mm -hmm. And pop up have... throughout your journey, you still get little pop ups just reminding you stuff that they've already gone over. You know, it wasn't like a pop up saying yeah. like, "Oh, yeah. save money, spend this, hire somebody." It's like, "Oh no, just like reminding you something we've already told you because probably too much information all at the same time." If the whole thing were a single page on a desktop that had put in key points here, uh, if it were 20 text inputs on a four by five grid, the first input said, put your company name. And then the second one was like a drop down of what industry are you in or something like that. And then mm -hmm. uh, what revenue do you want to project? You know, what? Uh, you think it would be one page? What I'm thinking though, in trying to put that out is what if you could see all the toggles and all of the, that when you hit oh, generate, it's able to use all those as inputs to mm -hmm. then give you a starting point for a plan without really doing any long form writing. You just yeah. have those. Yeah. Interesting. Even if we're on mobile, you could just whatever mm -hmm. the mobile inputs are and then hit plan. And you know, each time you did the plan, maybe it cost you a dollar, whatever it is. We can be. Yeah. Um, Interesting. Yeah, I think you and I would agree. Whatever we come up with for a lot of reasons has got to be simpler with live plan, right? Yeah, because damn, this is like for you. Not that I don't think you could def like probably build it, but I don't know if like it, she can't want this because this already exists. There's no point. Yeah, it has to be simpler. I assume. I I truly do assume. Yeah, there has to be simpler. Yeah, it has to make money. It's yeah. 
got to be useful enough I mean, that people will pay for it. um, I mean, also with live plan, QuickBooks, um, QuickBooks advertises that like live plan is the plan type of thing that they business planner that they recommend. Look at that. Oh, was that it? Oh, maybe not. Last I heard, last I thought. I'm curious. Unless, unless it's just an integration. Unless it's just Well, something like where do you remember seeing hearing? Ah, uh, here we go. Their official at Yes. QuickBooks partners Yes. live plan. This. Yes. 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 Okay. Bumble. Look at that. That's that's just to say like the goal cannot be to want to be life plan is is all I'm saying. Yeah. You could be somebody different because her whole thing is like she wants there to be no barrier to entry for people to start their businesses. It's like her whole thing. Yeah. Um so I wonder is there room at the high end? We're talking about three hundred dollars. What would you spend three thousand dollars on? what would I spend three thousand dollars on Yeah. today? Yeah, for Koi for Koi Monua. And money Um and company to spend an entire month's revenue to have a business planning tool. What would that business planning tool have to achieve? Like a guarantee of a loan or something to grow your business or a guarantee Yes, of customers or something? three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. You better be giving me like cold, hard truth facts that I can like bet my life savings on. Well, maybe not my life savings, but like ten Yeah. grand or three grand, I guess, actually specifically. Um. I mean, you'd have to have people. Yes. You'd want a human involved, right? Yes, hundred percent. I want like a lot of attentive care and emails and phone calls and open line of communication and cold hard truth. I three By the thousand way, thank dollars. you. You just, yeah, I'm going to hit the stop recording. Uh, this Oh is a moment. yeah. Uh, we've done Um. it.